Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome to Smarter Every Day. Hey guys, welcome back to Smarter Every Day. I'm Olivia, filling in for Dustin because he's out sick today. And I'm going to show you something really cool that I found. I hypothesize this is due to water's polarity, which creates an attraction with the magnet and moves the object. Okay, so basically water has two electron orbitals, each with opposite electron spins, which creates a torque of zero. Knowing that we have a torque of zero, we can analyze the equation for a magnetic moment and see that water would have to have a magnetic moment, assuming that its vector of magnet magnitude for its magnetic field is a non-zero integer. Thus, water is diamagnetic, meaning it's going to repel the magnet. Now, seeing that the water repels the magnet, we can see that divots are created and as the magnet moves across the water, these divots carry the object across the water. The applications. Magnetic field has been successfully applied for separation purposes. Magnetism is a unique physical property that independently facilitates applications such as water purification by affecting the physical properties of contaminated in water. This treatment helps avoid the use of chemicals that can be expensive and harmful to humans and the environment. This photo is the general arrangement of the magnetic water treatment apparatus. So in simpler terms, water exerts an opposite magnetic field in the presence of the magnet, and that repulsion depresses the surface of water enough to move the object as the magnet moves. Welcome back to the Race of the Century. I'm Raj Thacker. And I'm Trent Stoffer. And today we're going to have our fish go through some brand new obstacles. And on the left side, we have water, and on the right side, we have milk. I think dad magnetism is going to play a key role in today's race. What do you think, Trent? See, that's a statement I can really get behind. So, as far as predictions go, I think I'm going to go with milk because of its higher density. What about you? See, that's where I disagree with you. See, the surface tension of water is much, is much lower, so there's going to be a greater divot, which causes the velocity of the goldfish to increase. Well, I guess we'll have to find out after the break. That smiles back. Goldfish. Racers, get your goldfish ready. Please put them in the liquid. So welcome to the post game show. Man, that was some race. So what are our reactions to this race, Trent? You know, as always, I'm right. You know, what about your prediction? <sighs> Guys, I apologize. It seems that density was not a key in this race. Scratch everything I just said. Bonus points for everyone. Bonus points for everyone. I didn't have enough diet, Dr. Pepper today. I'm so sorry. So Water, what do you think the key to success was today? Man, the lower surface tension that I worked hard towards created more divots and causing causing me to be more diamagnetic, helping me win the race. So, Milk, why did you lose today's race? I lost today because I had high amounts of surface tension, which caused me to have low amounts of diamagnetism, and that is why I lost today. In conclusion, we analyzed the reasons for why this physics phenomenon relating to magnetism occurs and the effects of a different liquid being dependent on the surface tension. I felt I would win today because I had all the density and muscle, but that created more surface tension. The low amounts of diamagnetism and that's why I lost. Yes. Stop! <laughs> no, no, no. Stop! Jackson! Yes. Object has a magnet moved. <laughs> Enough to the for the object. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Depresses the surface of the water. Enough to move. Wait, what? <laughs> In conclusion, I... <laughs> Maybe we should just Stop. give it to the TV. Maybe we should just Stop. give it to the TV. Here. 